welcome back to the channel everyone today i would just like to take a second to talk about the 8th gen honda civic si more specifically mine if you're new to the channel around february of 2023 i purchased an 8th gen honda civic si which is a car i've had my eyes on since i was probably about 14 years old when they were still in production um, in my short time of owning the car, I've had nothing short of an absolute blast. I've made several repairs as well as modifications in order to achieve that level of satisfaction. But the sad truth is my car is a very rough example of an 8th gen. Uh, the previous owner that I purchased the car from drove this thing into the ground. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Um, he didn't seem to care for it much at all. Uh, upon purchasing the car, both of the bumpers were broken. The headlights didn't work at all. It had been in several accidents because none of the body lines match up. Um, it had a misfire and a uh, few codes, one specifically for a stretch timing chain that I had addressed immediately. It had a worn out clutch and a throw out bearing that was ready to blow up the very next drive, which again was addressed very early on. But uh, all these factors tie into how I got the car for so cheap, and at no point in time do I consider this car to be quote-unquote nice. But nonetheless, I absolutely love my car, and I'm going to keep making the necessary repairs as time goes on, and I can't wait to see what the car will become in the future. As of right now, the car currently has a 3-inch cold air intake, a catalyst downpipe and a tune through Honda. Future plans with the car are I plan on doing a set of drag cartel cams. I need to get a Type S oil pump down there as well. Um, go some bigger injectors that support E85 and then throw that all on an E85 tune. And I'll probably end up running that for a while. Of course, I have future plans with forced induction down the line but I'm trying to not get too ahead of myself. Plus, I think that will be recipe for a cool little street car. And keep in mind, this isn't my only car or project by any means. I have several projects I'm currently working on, as well as helping friends get their projects up and going. So I put as much time as I can in and when I can, of course. But that being said, if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you taking the time to listen. This is a video that I've wanted to make for some time now regarding the condition of my 8th gen. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.